So this is a small uh, recording to show how the date pass uh, works for the WRDS environment. So if we want to use a database uh, and we don't have an account, we can use use the date pass. Just go to the database. This is the environment. This is the first screen you see. Then you just type in your own view email address or uh, view student mail, depending on who you are. You'll have something lines any other email address is not accepted just mark that option submit it and you'll be receiving an email with your uh, link, link to the database you have to wait for a small amount of seconds and then we'll get an email the day pass by the way gives the same type of access as an account would you don't get anything extra uh, you have any, an account where it concerns access to specific databases it's the same for everyone only perks that you get with an account is basically you have some extra options to do some searches using specific software and you can save some of your queries that's uh, mainly uh, what an account uh, has as an extra availability so let's see we'll shoot getting the accounts pretty soon sorry the account the day pass link <laughs> my mistake okay there we go see you get your email just was the pictures this is the link you can just copy that or click on it I'm just copying it because I already have my screen open, just copy it over there and you see you have access to databases subscribed databases and some of them are free free sources so let's do a small sample, the search CompuStat let's go for CompuStat North America let's go for some annual report information from Fundamentals Annual and let's do a small search for a couple of years in this case I just don't want too many too much data to have a quick search as an example I have a bunch of tickers as a small file ready available so I'll select that file it's a small ticker list tickers are symbols for companies at an exchange step two you select some of the items if you want and let's select some variables to get some data there we go and let's go for some extra stuff I want the location and that's fine and I want some data let's go for some control variables and I want to know on what year the data is so I need to have the fiscal year and let's get some basic items like total assets and revenue there we go that's fine for this example final step we select the download option by the way never select Excel which uh, does auto formatting it messes up your data and when we click downwards never give in an email address because then you get a link by email which doesn't work so don't use this option submit the form and you'll get a link at the top of your screen which is this one green link just right click on it open in a new tab and you can wait until it refreshes and gets you your downloads sometimes it's one file sometimes it's multiple files depending on your search and the database just right click save as and you have your data that's basically how this works